Hello, my creative friend. Are you ready to be the star of the show? Because today, as I record this, OpenAI has just introduced something called Sora, which is about to give you a breathtaking view into where the film industry is headed. In fact, I'm gonna overlay some of the video that is created by Sora on their demo preview page and just look at some of this stuff. It is genuinely breathtaking. It is extraordinary to think that somebody typed something into a chat box and it generated this video, this complex video. Now, to be clear, this video is from the early iterations. I'm sure that they've cherry picked some of the best video. If you look at some of the video on their demonstration page, there are weird artifacts and things that would never be able to be used in an actual film. But understand that this is version one technology. My point is and has been for a very long time that if you develop your creative writing skills and you are ready for the moment when this technology converges, when it matures, you are going to be the rock star of the new era. Hollywood has been underappreciating writers since the very beginning, but ultimately all creativity, the entire project springs forth from the mind of a writer, and now we are about to see tools that enable the writer to imagine their story, dream it into being, and start using these kinds of tools to make that movie a reality. Here's what's gonna happen, here's my prediction. Sora was just announced today. It's We don't have a timeline for when it's going to be in public release. They're testing it. They're gonna try different things out. They're gonna look for, at safety concerns before it ever goes public. So this is not technology that we can use yet. And once we can use it, we have the same problem that we have with ChatGPT or with other uh, generative video or generative imagery uh, tools in that you can type in the chat box <laughs> what you want it to generate and it spits out a thing. Sometimes it's generic, sometimes it's cliche, sometimes the physics of the scene don't really make sense or work the way it would, and so to a human eye, it's just a bit kind of off, maybe creepy even. Well, eventually, that technology will morph and adapt and grow and change to where you, when it spits out what it spits out, you will be able to say, no, I don't want it like this, I want it like this instead. And you'll be able to manipulate and move it around. You'll say, the the, the dog on this thing keeps multiplying. That That's not how dogs really work, right? Or wolves or whatever the demo is. <laughs> but probably in just a few iterations of the software, you will be able to manipulate the AI image that gets created so that the ideas that are in your head become the stories that you want to tell. And once we reach cinematic quality, once this tech matures, then all we have are the writers. All we have are the people who imagine the stories, create the stories that they want to tell. And then what happens? The signal to noise ratio goes through the roof. It's like that example that I said in some video last year that when Final Draft came along and pretty much everyone could write in screenplay format. A producer would receive one out of a hundred submissions that were written on the old typewriters that took a lot of manual effort. One out of a hundred was viable. Now with Final Draft, suddenly one of a, out of a thousand was viable. When that signal to noise ratio goes up, when everyone can create stories from their imagination, we're going to see maybe one in 10,000 that actually is able to connect with an audience. Because at first, this technology is a novelty. It's a bit gimmicky. We look at some of the images and go, wow, I can't believe what AI is able to create. But as it becomes part of our life, as we become familiar with it, we're not just gonna be dazzled by some of the imagery itself. We're gonna be looking for those artifacts. We're gonna be looking for the weak points in the video. And so after an initial phase of, hey, look what I can do. Hey, mom, check it out, right? At a certain point, we're going to want more from that. We're gonna need more from that. And what is the more from that? The more from that is story, it's characters, it's something engaging that pulls us in. If spectacle or visual wizardry was all that we needed for an extraordinary story, for an engaging emotional experience, then 
Hollywood would never create a bomb. They have the ability to tell enormously spectacular so stories with visual effects and imagery that just blows us away, but that can sometimes be emotionally vacuous. It's not interesting, it's not compelling, why? Because we're not connected to the story as it's unfolding, we're not connected to the characters, we're not we don't care about what happens next. Well, the same will be true of AI. So as we look ahead, as we think about what's coming online now and this big fear and paranoia about artificial intelligence, what I want you to do is understand that the reason human beings tell stories is to understand our world, to connect with our fellow human beings. AI doesn't appreciate story it does, there's no need for ai to be to be told a story human beings are told stories because it's the way our brains process our world so when you imagine the stories that only you can tell when you then have the tools to be able to bring them to the masses what become the limiting characteristics, the quality of the story that you tell, the speed with which you're able to tell it, and your ability to bring it to the market at a profit. So we're going to see a shift in the business model. This is an entirely new paradigm that we're entering into. I'm actually in the process right now of putting together an extended training for free that will help writers and producers, directors, actors, all the people who are freaking out about how this technology is gonna upend their world and take away their jobs and all this kind of stuff. It's not true, that's not what is about to happen. We are going to see both, both will coexist. Hollywood is not gonna disappear. Hollywood is gonna use these tools and this technology to be able to do more, to be able to create better. And and you as an independent creator, if you're an independent creator, uh, you as an indie will be able to take the ideas that are in your head and turn them into viable stories. So over the next, I would say year, two, three, maybe five at max, out of over those coming years, you have an extraordinary window of opportunity to develop the skill set of being able to tell stories and tell those stories quickly to be able to take advantage of this shifting uh, reality now. This will transform our industry. This is a paradigm shift. It is essential that you get on top of it, that you understand it, you, you develop the skill set so that you can be at the right place at the right time. So those are my initial thoughts. Obviously, we'll have uh, much more to come. Uh, wow, about this uh, about this new uh, this new technology. It's all happening like I said it was going to. It's just happening a little sooner and a little more excitingly than I thought. So that's what I got for you today. We'll see you in the next one.